Aloha, this is Joshua Hayes at BigWaveTrading.com coming to you with Wednesday's Market Wrap. There isn't much to say here except for that it was basically a do-nothing kind of day. It looked like it was going to be a very bullish day earlier today, but as you can see via the tail here in the price pattern and it not closing near its high of the day, sellers did hit the stock in the last um, hour and a half of trading, I do believe. Volume's higher, so to me it's just a bunch of churning especially when we're not going anywhere. Um, so in the NASDAQ, as you can see, it's trapped in the middle of a 50 and 200 day moving average. Can't call it much there. New York Stock Exchange, lower volume today. So as you can see, as each day goes on, it just gets more and more and more dull. And it's gotta be pretty hard for most traders to, to deal with that do not understand how to be quiet and not trade during certain times of the market. And this is definitely a market where you should not be trading. Um, Obviously, it's gone completely flat since July, so there's just nothing to do here. Um, S&P 500 should be the exact same way if I type it in correctly. Um, yeah, it should be. Re yeah, it's going to try to retake the 50-day moving average, but it's got some resistance here. And, of course, resistance in the 200-day moving average ain't going to help it out at all. Let's see how the small cap index did today. Um, the S&P 600 still trying to hang above over its 200-day moving average, but with the 50-day moving average below it, you can tell from the um, top in October, it just has not been a good ride for this thing. It's only down 12%, and that's not that bad, but it's still not looking healthy. Let's just go ahead and skip straight to the stocks that are bad right now. Let's go look at big. As you can see, big is coming down on some heavy volume. A two-day chart shows that the stock is going to try to probably break down and redo the same thing it did back here. I can't. I want to go short, but I can't go short something that's got a over 10% on margin. That's 20% risk. I, I just can't do it in this market. I'm just. Let I me mean, look at how the last breakdown acted on heavy volume in July. Didn't do too well. Went right back above the 50-day moving average. False breakout. Now a breakdown. That's not good, and that just proves that we're not in a good market environment. CAD, uh, Canon Incorporated, on a long-term chart, uh, especially in arithmetic, you can see that this one is uh, ready to probably make a long way down. You can see all the volume right here, right after a, is that an 8 for 2 split? Yay. After an 8 to 2 split, 4 for 1, whatever, um, you can just see... Um, the amount of churning here with this volume and it looks like it's coming down but there's a problem today it doesn't close at its low of the day and even though the 50 is just now crossing the 200 day moving average there's just not enough here to make me want to go short I would need to have seen red bop also and so I have to pass on that another breakout reversal is MCRS you see the breakout of this ugly pattern here I mean it's not even a true base but it tried to break out over the 200 day moving average then it immediately breaks down below the 200 and breaks down below the 50 just showing you how weak this market is and it does it on heavier volume too just something you don't like to see at all you know in a stock market that you want to buy um, let's see I got one more written here and that's Burger King Burger King as you can see another ugly breakout from another ugly base and then an immediately breakdown these breakout breakdowns are really bad and shows you the condition the market's really in the heavier volume today also confirming that move let's look at some good ones I have a few good ones FSYS is one that we're already long for 100% profit if it can get a little bit closer here to the 50-day moving average and bounce off of it on strong volume I would love to go ahead and add to this stock as this is what you want a stock to look like some guy posted in the forums that he's looking at this and calling this a base this is not a base and as you can see on an arithmetic chart the top was in 2007 on huge volume and huge distribution day this stock is not coming back so if for you that are for you guys that are out there following past winners thinking they'll become winners again you guys no offense are a little crazy because history tells you that past big winners that go up over three thousand percent like ACH aren't gonna come back so let's get off that horrible chart right there and let's get back to FSYS and see what we need where we need for it to hit the 50-day moving average 
Once again, one of the best stocks out there with some of the best ratings in TCT. This needs to break out of a much smoother, longer base. It needs to go sideways here for a while, then break out, or it needs to bounce right off the 50-day moving average on volume that's like about this big or this big for me to get long or else um, this beautiful earnings per share of the sales giant is just going to have to go on without me. Um, another one is TSYS. I would love for it to pull back to the 50-day moving average and get it because it's shown areas of max green bop and heavy accumulation. Um, one more stock to look at that we looked at yesterday also is LDK. It's still helping to build that right side as you can see with all the great price action after the gap higher. Heavy volume, green bop, a weekly looks like this. So there's a while to go before it gets to the 60 area before we can start to really think about buying it. And then today, I believe one that I will add to, but I can't add a lot to, is Macy. Macy is an IPO, and it was looking beautiful. It's bounced right off the 50-day moving average on a pickup in volume. But look down here. Notice the max green bop turns into just green bop. It loses that power and the bop that it just had on the breakout bounce. That always has me worried and thinking that something might be wrong with it later on in the line. So I'll add to it, but once again, this will be another uh, like 100 share ad and not a 1,000 to 10,000 loading up because we have a beautiful chart. If it just would have stayed max green, the bop, I think I would go heavily long and I would have looked to have gone long about 500 to 1,000 shares of it because it is a pretty nice chart. I mean, it looks good even on a weekly. It's got a lot of green and on a daily you can see the max green bop. Sadly, it loses it here. And besides that, we are in a market that is going absolutely nowhere and has been since January. This is not a fun time to be inv an investor. This is not a good time to be investing long or short. As long as volume stays below the 50-day volume average, I have to tell you the smartest traders would be doing nothing. So I hope all of you out there are basically doing nothing. Um, this is Joshua Hayes of BigWaveTrading.com, and I hope you enjoyed your little wrap-up.